Hey everyone, or well, good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, everybody. Joe Media Reference. Yeah, subscribe. Or don't. Do whatever you want. So we're watching the Garbage Pale Kids movie, is that what it's called? I hear it's one of the worst movies ever made. So I'm looking forward to this one. A Topps Chewing Gum Production. Yeah, that, that that's a mark of quality, isn't it? God. The Garbage Pail Kids Movie. Get ready to be fucking freaked out for the rest of your days, especially if you're a small child. Whoa, look at our look at the cast and crew, baby, on these rocking cards or something. Whoa, look at that one. Duh, she's totally hot, bro. God damn, look at that. Whoa. Oh, and oh, oh my God, what the fuck? Valerie vomit. That is horrible. Okay. They look. They do look terrifying. They look horrific, actually. This is foul. Fi <laughs> what the fuck? They all look like um, Humpty Dumpty. Is that intentional? Wait, are they aliens? Are they aliens? So I did actually read that this was originally intended to be. It was like it was written as a horror movie, I believe, something like that. And that makes everything kind of make sense. It doesn't seem very appropriate for kids, so I'm only a few minutes in, but it's just, just the design of everything. It's very much like a classic, you know, dull thingy horror movie where it's like these weird little creatures. Oh, this is going to be awful, isn't it? See, if you just change the music and um, the... Uh, actually, no, no, this is very much like a horror thing. This is edited just like a horror movie. There's uh, There's no... No, um, it's all close up, so you can't really tell what's going on. It's all purposefully kind of vague and creepy, like those eyes and stuff. What? Very, very weird. Is it the 80s? I wonder if it's the 80s. Is it the 80s? I don't know. I wonder. Oh my god, that top she's wearing. I wonder if it's the 80s. I can't tell. Fakest laugh I've ever heard. Oh my god. Could you be a little less convincing, please? Oh, that's why there were all those cards at the beginning. I'm just reading here that this is the first movie to be based on a trading card slash sticker series. God. And I thought, like, this this trend started in the early, or well, latest, early 2000 period with, like, Battleship and Transformers and all these toy-based movies, but clearly it goes back that far. They all look like they're going to do some gymnastics somewhere all the time. In the 80s. It was a style, wasn't it? It's just like everyone's doing gymnastics all the time. Bit weird. Oh, he's gonna curb stomp him. Oh no, he's gonna put him in the sewer. Okay, it's a little bit... He's not American history xing him, luckily. Be a bit too extreme, I think, for this... Uh... Kids movie, I wanna say, but... And the soundtrack's really clashing as well. It's, it's music that will be going on in like a... Like a sort of setup scene or something. But it's just kind of like, yeah, look how goofy this is. We've kidnapped this 15-year-old kid and we're tying him down in in the sewer. And, like, there's toxic waste there, it looks like. See you later, creep. But no, it really is the other way around. You're like the 25-year-old man who's bullying a 15-year-old kid for seemingly no reason at all. Just to be a cunt. So this is the introduction to the garbage pail kids. Oh my god, it it reminds me of... This is like the sort of thing Michael Bay might have done. They've all got their little quips that they can't fucking ever shut up. They just keep going and going. And they've all got their really extreme, exaggerated personalities. Oh my... Oh, fuck me. Oh, the puppetry's so poor as well. Oh, fucking... Oh, fart joke, what's that? 17 minutes it took. Oh my god, the animatronics on that crocodile guy. So terrible. Oh, their, their dead, vacant expression is, is really terrifying. They can't emote anything. They're just like creepy models. That Especially that one that's like supposed to look the most like a baby. That crocodile reminds me of um, the certain scene from The Labyrinth, you know, the David Bowie movie. With these really creepy, like, creatures, furry creatures made out of... Well, they're puppets, and they're just re- It's a really terrifying musical number. It's horrible. 
and it's even worse than this. So this movie is clearly um, inspired by Gremlins. It has it's it's got that kind of feel going for you know the sort of young guy accidentally getting these things and he has to oh that is gross fuck's sake so disgusting but it's kind of it, what was it this one was 97 gremlins was 84 or something like that so you know having a little shop where they where they first could that's the one i'm on about this the creepiest one god it's terrifying and and a really annoying as well. Their voices are all like, "Daddy, girl, girl, oh, I just pissed myself, dude. Funny." Fucking hell, this is gonna be awful. I mean, it already is awful. Another hour left. Kill me. What the fuck? Fingers and eyes. Are you kidding me? Is it an eyeball a day keeps the doctor away? I don't know if you remember um, when I said in the baby. Ugh. Oh, God almighty, their faces. But in the Baby Geniuses um, video, I, the thing I didn't like most about those movies is how just wrong it looks to have these babies kind of just talking and moving in ways that they wouldn't. This is that times like a thousand because it's these weird characters that they look disgusting and horrible on, on paper in the um, the little cards that they're based on. And then when you when you imagine them in in real life, they're fucking terrifying. Look at that! That is awful. That is so scary. Oh, that's number two fart joke, by the way. I it's I I thought that 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 one in the left there that looks like a baby is scarier than the crocodile, but that crocodile one is freaking me the fuck out. Why is he not freaking out that he just knocked over a? Uh garbage pail and a bunch of freakish monster mutants all came out and kind of just sort of harassed him for a bit and were irritating and did annoying things. Does he not care about that? He just sort of thought, you yeah, know, okay, that happened. See you later. I do kind of like how these 80s kids movies are just sort of like, they don't even give a fuck about being PC at all. It's just like, yeah, there's a little bit of nudity, you know, a little bit censored. Horrible stuff like eyes and fingers and stuff, but they didn't give a shit, do they? It made kids not prissy wimps. I'm sure a lot of them are now. Ooh, you can't show them... Can't show a bit of violence. You have to hide it all. That's not... That's not... This, this is good in any way. I'm just... I'm just trying to find things to point out. Oh, her eyes were going all... Oh, her... The, the eyes! They're, like, broken. Oh... God, this is awful, abhorrent. Ah, it makes me feel ill just looking at it. It's like, it's really making me uncomfortable. Ah, oh, this is sickening. I think we found it, ladies and gents. Like this really is incredible in how just. I don't even have the words for it. It's so unbelievable. That I can't even put it into words. Disgusting. Irritating. Obnoxious. Creepy. Weird. It's just... So terrible. See, who thought this would be a good idea is... Is my question. How did anyone... If I was a producer on this movie, I would... Burn all the money I did, I'd have saved from all my crazy Hollywood business... And I would do everything in my power to get all evidence of this thing purged from history. Because holy fuck. Anyone's name attached to this is just defiled. It's that atrocious. Oh, is this really where it's gonna go? He's lying about him making the clothes. And the garbage pail fucking asshole kids are gonna make clothes for him. And it's gonna make the... Oh, God fucking hell. Hey, yo, look at me, I'm the garbage pail kids, look at me, ooh, hey, yeah. Oh my god, the eyes, <laughs> they're so fucked. That baby. Well, this is really strangely edited, it's just, it's just suddenly just, I haven't edited this, it's just sort of jumped into it. For no reason, they're, they're just singing a song now. So it, I didn't realise it was a musical. 
Oh god. So it is the labyrinth, kind of. But the songs in Labyrinth are actually good though, is the thing. These are just annoying. Ah, oh, this is the worst. See, this this is this makes me question how I have to order these things when in the list when it comes to comparing the movies, because this is this is horribly awful. But you know, when you really think about it, it is actually composed like a real movie. Like there's editing, you know, like the camera is actually pointed at the things that are kind of happening. You know, because then when you look at something like Birdemic, where the sounds off, the everything's just terrible quality. But then Birdemic's, Birdemic's kind of charmingly terrible and almost entertaining because of that. It, I really hate the second one because it's just kind of pushing its, it's kind of pushing it by that point. But this, it's almost worse in comparison because it's just infuriating. Nothing works about it. It's not charming. It's it's an ugly movie, and I know they, they kind of referenced that earlier, saying everyone thinks we're ugly, you know, in terms of the garbage pail kids, but that's not an excuse because they're all they're all really abrasive personalities that are just re look at that. That is just gross, it's fucking disgusting. You know, what I'd do if I was that kid because they're in the basement. I'd lock the door. And I'd burn the house down. I'd fucking burn it all down. If these things existed in real life, I'd... They'd need to be purged. They need to be eradicated. They're, they're awful. They're not even good people. Uh, you know, people. Hi. Um, they're not even good people. They're just... They're disgusting creatures. Devil creatures. S evil spirits from another dimension that need to be burnt. See you guys, burn in hell, fuck you. Oh my god. If I had kids, if I had kids, I would show them The Grudge, uh, Robocop, Terminator, anything before showing them this. This is scarier than any of those movies. Well, you know, Robocop and Terminator aren't scary, but you know, violent. I mean, just adult things. This, this is more adult and weird and creepy and disturbing than any of those movies are. <laughs> Suzuki quad bike. What, why are they driving that? Where the fuck did they find that? Fuck it, I don't care. Just just move on, please. Just end. Look, his mouth is open, like I was saying. They're not even... He's talking and they're not even moving any kind of animatronic. It's so fucking lazy. Fuck you. What? Mmm, too skinny. Mmm, too bony. Mmm, too leathery. He's, a he's actually going around ogling all the women in there. This is fucking- fuck you. This is terrible. What the hell? This just got even weirder. He just bit his foot and he started screaming because a crocodile was biting his fucking foot. Bit his toe off. This is umber fucking leaveable. Oh my god, you see a, f a bar fight scene. This was the last thing I was expecting. Out of everything I was expecting to see on the list, like, okay, that's the third fart joke, but things like fart jokes, things like balls being kicked, being smacked, things like that. But not, never this. If this movie at some point tries to make us sympathize for these fucking asshole things. I'm just gonna lose it. I, I can just see it happening as well. Why did it show them in space at the beginning though? Are they aliens or are they like a magic thing? Because he said he needs a spell to make them go back into the pale. Oh, it's so disgusting. Um, oh God. So I was right about them trying to make us sympathize for these things now. They're all like, oh, we need to find our friends. We think they're, they're hidden somewhere. They're hiding or something. No. These things are fucking horrible and we want them to suffer. All they've shown us in the last half an hour is how dickish they all are. They're cunts. God, this is tiresome. All of their personalities are just so annoying. It's fucking tiresome. She's totally abusing that kid, using the fact that she's a pretty lady to basically use him for slave labor to make her a ton of money. Great. Good movie. Good kids movie. Morals and stuff. 
So this movie is going to be about, about her now exploiting these terrible creatures, terrible demon creatures for slave labor to make clothes for her to sell and make profit. Fuck you. I wonder what was going through her head. Just like, god damn, I love money. Like, just think about the money. Forget about these terrifying things that I'm supposed to be working with. Just think about the money. Think about the money. What a bitch. She really is just a... She really is just abusing that kid. Using him. What are we supposed to be feeling right now? Are we supposed to think that she's a huge bitch? It's fourth fart joke, fifth fart joke. Okay, that only counts as one, as a fourth. So his character is that he farts. That one is that he pisses. The crocodile one is that he likes biting feet. There's the one that's got the snotty nose, and that's his character. There's the, what, fourth time they've done that? That one is that... Oh, they're sick, they're sick all the time or something. And there's another one that's something else. The baby one who thinks that everyone else, every human is its mother. Really well written stuff, as you can probably tell. Oh, and that one as well. I forgot about that one. Who's who's just a cunt who goes around with his flick knife. Look at that. God damn. Underbite he's got going on. F fuck off. This is really pissing me off. Crocodile's not even looking near him. He's just sort of looking in the air. I think the word I've been looking for is baffling. Like it's just, your your brain can't quite comprehend what you're seeing. It, it's like a it's like a fever dream of just it's a night a nightmarish fever dream of horrible imagery, abusive, disgusting sounds that just piss you off. Everything about it, not one redeeming quality. Fifth fart joke. It's just like, scene with uh, the garbage pail kids. Okay, what do we write down? Um, we can have the snot one do something to do with the snot. Okay, that's cool. We can have the one that farts do a fart, and we can have the one that pisses itself do a piss. Nothing else happens in the scene, they just all do that thing. That they've been established that they do. And then, we just go to the next scene. It's not even really important. Unbelievable. What's going on here? This has come out of nowhere. They're going to kidnap the garbage pail kids, are they? Alright, whatever. Let's see where this goes then. Too old. Too gross. Too annoying, more like. Too... Too shit. Too terrible. Too crippled. Oh, you wouldn't see that in a modern movie, would you? Christ. Oh, and what did I say about the about them playing with the... You're supposed to feel sorry for them. I'm glad this has happened. They deserve to be fucking locked up there until they starve or die of dehydration. Like, don't even feed them. Don't give them anything. Just let them die horribly. This is putting me to... It's putting me to sleep. It's so boring. So fucking boring. Sixth fart joke. Still funny. Wow. Very, very poorly built if three bikes is enough to pull off metal bars from a window. Seventh fart joke. Still as funny as it was the first time. Commend them for that. Ah, oh, gross! What the fuck? That is really... Bizarre. And disgusting and weird. Well, it's not funny though, is the thing. There's nothing about that. There's... Oh. This is just a full-on fight happening now. This this is a really weird way to win this movie. He doesn't think she's pretty anymore. So all he cares about is how she... Okay. Okay, maybe. Well, at least she kind of got comeuppance. Sort of. But not really. Don't worry, Dodger. I've been stuck in tighter places than this. What? What kind of thing is that to say in a kid's movie? Fuck you, trying to have some kind of message at the end. Fuck off. They were cunts the entire way through. They haven't learnt anything. Nothing's changed. Wow. Fucking wow. Oh my god, what am I even supposed to say at this point? Like... All the things I've been saying all the way through it. Like, 
just summarizes it. I mean, this this was this was fucking painful. Oh my god, that was just so terrible. I'm f I, I don't even know what to say. That was just umber fucking leaveable. I think we found it, guys and girls. I think this is the worst piece of shit I've ever seen. I've been on a really unlucky streak lately. You know, Baby geniuses one and two, just these god awful. You know, the last Airbender shit like that. Like just, just it's just being topped every single time. I can't keep up with it. I just really need like another, another Starman or something at this point. This is driving me insane. These fucking terrible movies. God. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you stayed to the end, if you could withstand it. I fully, I fully understand if you weren't able to. In which case, you wouldn't be hearing me saying this, so I don't really know why I'm even saying it in the first place. So, oh god, watch the Search for the Worst episode. And, god, just pray to god that I don't die in the night from having nightmares from this horrible, disgusting movie. Alright, thanks for watching.